Dear students, in this class, you will be learning about insulators. In one of the previous classes, you have learned that the line conductors are insulated from the supporting towers by means of various types of insulators. The insulators that are used in the transmission lines must be having certain characteristics. Today we shall discuss about these characteristics. Overhead Transmission lines are supported on the towers. Since towers are at ground potential, ground potential means zero potential. So, earth is considered to be at ground potential here. The lines must be insulated from the bare conductors remember that overhead transmission lines are always bare conductors Whereas in underground transmission systems, conductors with insulations are used. Ideal insulators must have the following characteristics. Practically it is not possible to have any ideal insulators. There should not be any pores or air spaces.
any pores or air spaces inside the insulators will result in the breakdown strength of insulator therefore ideal insulator should not have any pores or air spaces but while manufacturing it is not possible to avoid pores and air spaces by 100% there should not be any impurities it means that the material that is used for making the insulator should be pure enough it should not have any other material which can reduce its insulating property there should be perfectly homogeneous material it means that if two or more than two materials are used in making an insulator those materials must be homogeneously mixed otherwise what happens is the breakdown strength of insulating material will come down leakage current through insulators should be minimum we cannot have 100% perfect insulator that means there will be some current flowing between the line conductor and tower and this current value will be very very less that is why this current is called as leakage current actually leakage current means the current flowing through an unintended path for it insulator is an unintended path for current flow but because of imperfection in manufacturing insulator the current flows through it but the magnitude is very very small and that current flowing through insulator is called as leakage current ideally speaking leakage current should be equal to zero but it is not possible to have so that is why leakage current through insulator should be minimum
insulator should be able to withstand over voltage and normal working voltage over voltage will be prescribed in percentage over the normal working voltage insulator should be able to withstand that voltage as well as normal working voltage that means insulator should not lose its insulating property at prescribed over voltage and normal working voltage it should be mechanically strong to bear the conductor load So here weight of the conductor will be acting on the insulator so because of the weight the insulator should not break down mechanically it should not turn into pieces when the conductor is being supported by it first three are physical characteristics of the insulator but the fourth and fifth are electrical characteristics last one is mechanical characteristic of the insulators of the insulators materials used in making
insulators are porcelain glass and polymers porcelain it is most widely used material because it is very cheap It is most widely used material as it is cheap. It is thoroughly verified and glazed before use verifying the porcelain material thoroughly it means that checking it for its characteristics which we have studied above glazing means making the surface of insulator shiny and smooth because if the surface is smooth dust will not accumulate and there will be no pores in it if no pores are there its absorption of moisture will reduce accumulation of dust particles will reduce hence the insulator will have better insulation properties So you can write glazing is to keep the surface free from dust and moisture porcelain consists of twenty percent silica thirty percent feldspar feldspar means tectosilicate tectosilicate is therein 
the magma that is boiling material inside the earth and 50% clay and it has the dielectric strength of 122 to 8 kilovolt per centimeter If there is any impurity, then definitely the dielectric strength of this porcelain insulator will reduce. Any impurity will reduce. the dielectric strength of the insulator There is one practical difficulty in manufacturing perfectly homogeneous porcelain of the required thickness. Therefore, as per the requirement, different number of pieces are cemented together. It is difficult to manufacture a perfectly homogeneous porcelain in the thickness required and therefore it is necessary to go for different pieces and cementing them using Portland cement.
टफंड ग्लास ग्लास इज टफंड बाय अ हीट ट्रीटमेंट एंड टफंड ग्लास हैज गॉट अ डाइलेक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ 1200 किलो वोल्ट पर सेंटीमीटर व्हिच इज फार मोर देन porcelain material but the cost of glass which is toughened is more than that of porcelain material and there are chances of chipping of the glass surface the glass is toughened by heat treatment the dielectric strength of toughened glass is one thousand two hundred kv per centimeter the reason for making glass tough is to make its skin more resistant to damage by chipping and arc the toughened glass insulators have got certain advantages and also certain disadvantages what are those we will see now advantages of glass insulators first one as we have seen already the toughen glass has high dielectric strength they have got longer life high thermal
shock resistant thus reduced damage from the flash over for understanding purpose let us consider a conductor supported by an pin insulator here here you can see a pin bolted to the cross arm of the supporting tower at normal and prescribed over voltages there will be no current flowing through the insulator or through the air surrounding the insulator but if the voltage increases beyond prescribed over voltage in that case the current will start to flow from the conductor to the pin here and that current flowing in the air appears like an arc that arc is called as flash over fourth advantage is lower coefficient of thermal expansion so we are having a glass piece which is toughened and its length is l meters at t not degree celsius if the temperature is increased to T1 degree Celsius, then the length of this toughened glass will increase slightly. So now the length of this toughened glass has become L plus delta L. We can call it as say L dash. This L dash in terms of L, T naught and T1 is given by L dash equal to L into the bracket 1 plus alpha into T1 minus T naught. And this alpha here is called as coefficient of thermal expansion. If the coefficient of thermal expansion is if the coefficient of thermal expansion is small, then the delta L value will be very very less. That means L dash and L will be nearly equal. For toughened glass, this thermal expansion coefficient is very very low fifth one greater mechanical strength under the compression I hope you have learned what is compression and what is tension but in tension
it is same as porcelain sixth advantage is fault in the insulator can be seen by naked dice as the glass is transparent as the glass is transparent disadvantages of toughened glass insulators moisture gets condensed readily on the surface you might have seen on the surface of glass containing cold water moisture gets condensed and when you touch this glass your fingers will become wet cost wise it is expensive than porcelain its resistance to continuous mechanical load and temperature changes is poor compared to porcelain insulators ratings of insulators
insulators are rated in terms of working voltage puncture voltage and flash over voltage flash over voltage now we'll take first one that is working voltage the working voltage rating is the voltage at which an insulator is designed to bear the steady state voltage stress if the line voltage is vl the working voltage will be VLL by root 3 that is phase voltage because the voltage is to be measured between conductor and the ground the flash over voltage it is the voltage at which flash over occurs through air surrounding the insulator the 
पंक्चर वोल्टेज इट इज द वोल्टेज एट विच the insulator breaks through between conductor and pin it destroys the insulator to understand uh, what is puncture voltage let us consider a pin insulator here here it is the pin to connect porcelain insulator to the cross arm of tower and here is the conductor now when the voltage at which the conductor is operating becomes equal to puncture voltage then the insulator will break down electrically and the current will flow through the insulator from the conductor to the pin and from there it will flow to the ground it is path of current thereafter this insulator cannot be used conductor at puncture voltage and this is pin through which the current flows safety factor it is defined as the ratio of flash over voltage to working voltage that is safety factor equal to flash over voltage by working voltage
dear students i will stop today's class at this point and continue in next class thank you